Hey, fun fans, before we get to this Behind the Bumpers video, I want to give a big shout out to our sponsors, PTC and Striker. PTC currently has the Robots to the Rescue Challenge going on where you can earn a share of $7,000 for your team by designing a robot that helps solve a current world problem at onshape.com forward slash robots to the rescue. And Striker is looking for first and fun fans to join their team because they want to help support you in your first journey. Help develop solutions for current and future problems like the new emergency relief bed. Get details on how to join their team at careers.strykr.com forward slash first. Down here at the Midwest Regional, checking in team number 2338, gear it forward. Team is in the top of the rankings right now. I love this machine. Intake, elevator, uh, shooter, everything they have on the spot looks really slick to me. Uh, so we're going to find out more about the spot here on Behind the Bumpers. Let's start out with our intake here. Walk us through how this awesome system works and these ridiculous amount of vector intake wheels you guys have as well. Of course. So beginning of the, beginning of the season, uh, we knew that we wanted to go into this single indexing pattern. Um, just for consistency of balls. So we knew we needed to get these balls into a single file line. We chose to go with these two inch mechanism wheels. We have 16 of them total on the bot um, and they bring them into the center. We also have what we call our mud flaps down here. Um, they're covered in Teflon tape. So the balls slide right past. Um, and yeah, this is powered off of one 775 Pro. So then when we grab a ball, sucks it into our indexer and moves it to the back position. Oh, okay. Three. Um, as far back as it can. So it's going to then load all up into five. One really cool thing is to package this all in. Uh, we actually had our fifth slot uh, combined with our collector. So then when we fold up, it will hold onto the ball while we travel around. Uh, I love how slick this robot is. That intake there, really slick, really smooth, comes in really nicely. So let's actually continue our journey through this robot. Well, I'm just going to kind of keep on passing. Molly, why don't you tell us about a bit more on this robot? Next is our shooter, and what we have here is we have uh, four five-inch Colson wheels on a Neo motor, and we use these because um, it gives us two inches of compression against our shooter hood, and we have this at a 45-degree angle so we can get an accurate shot on um, from the front of the trench. And we we'll use a Neo motor because it's consistent, as well as um, being uh, consistent with our other Neo motors on our indexer. So lastly, we're going to talk about the climber on the spot. I definitely want to see it. If we can have it go up a little bit, it's quite impressive. Uh, and we'll uh, wrap up with that. So our elevator is a two-stage elevator that is spring-loaded. And so it has hydraulic locks if you want to raise that up. So it folds, uh, it goes down very far so we can still go under the trench. But then when we need to go up, our two-stage elevator will uh, slide up. And our hook is spring-loaded with a torsion spring, which allows us to have a nice st steady hook so we can drive forward, hit the bar, and then pull down and hang on it without having any slide. And so, can we take the elevator down? So, that's good. Uh, to prevent us from sliding, because we have a slick surface with the painted uh, hook, we uh, put hockey tape around the top of the hook because that helps provide a grippy surface that allows us to uh, grab on and not slide. And that helps because we like to position ourselves because in our scouting app we have a uh, calculator to tell us where to hang. So we can use that and the fact that we don't slide allows us to hang ourselves rather accurately so we get a balanced hang with our teammates. Garrett Ford, love to hear about the scouting system and how that's applied as well, too. But I uh, love this machine, just slick all the way around. Just can't wait to see how this team continues to do here at Midwest and beyond as well, too. Good luck here, guys. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Thanks to all of our co executive producers on Patreon and tier 2 plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live, and independent.